What's up, I'm back with you today. I'm gonna show you how to make a basic razor in Sony Vegas. So let's open it up. And first things first, we need to load up Marissa Soul the Precious Thing or well, whatever song you want. I'm just gonna use standard Marissa Soul the Precious Thing with Windows XP sounds because I'm going to make a Windows XP crazier. For some reason, the ones in my the sounds in my virtual machine are corrupted, and I just had to download some from the internet. So let's get things going. I'm going to make the intro sequence. Oh, wait, let me find that point. Okay, this part here. These first 10 seconds, 10, 11 seconds. All you have to do is just align to the beat. And. Mostly you can copy patterns from other crazier makers, usually can you eh? Or you can like you can make your own pattern basically freestyle. I'll see you guys when the intro sequence is done. So here's the intro sequence. Yeah, sounds pretty familiar, kinda like the original Crazy, you know, the one that started it all. Another way to make the audio, which is much easier, is using FL Studio. So basically an actual audio editor. I'm going to increase the BPM to 170 because that's the Marisa Solo Precious thing BPM. Get the song in there. And now, because I use FL Studio, I can quickly import my sounds by dragging and dropping them, but I already did that. So here they are. Now I can pick up the sounds. And then I might be fun to trim them, especially at the beginning. I can also do pitch shifting if I want to, but it isn't necessary here because this is a crazier, not a Windows remix. And as you can see, just click on the beat. It's that easy. All I have to do is just follow the sound waves, and things are going to turn up nice. Much better. Now I'll see you guys when this whole two minute audio is done. And it looks like we're done. This is how the whole thing looks in FL Studio. This is a whole crazier. Yeah. Now, if you're like me and actually created it in FL Studio, you need to save twice. First, you export it as an MP3. No, regular MP3. But then. You disable the audio track and save it again. There you go. Okay, so now we need to do the video part. Here is my Windows XP virtual machine. First, we need to take a screenshot of the desktop. So, go okay, here is our Windows screenshot. I specifically resized this virtual machine to 1280 by 720 because that's how I make my videos. So stuff should be fine. Now we need to get errors. So we need to break this computer up. Well, not really. We'll see what we can do. Now, even in Windows XP, there is still transparency around the corners. Like the corners are rounded. So we can easily fix the corners with Photoshop and basically trim the error. And basically we need to find all sorts of ways to generate error messages on the computer or the virtual machine. You can do this on your physical computer as well. Come on! There we go. Digo, here's your Windows 8.1 installer. we have to do is just find error messages whether it, whether it be from your computer or downloading on them on the internet all right now that we've got a bunch of screenshots and somewhere from the internet but whatever we can, we, sh we should start editing them so this is the blank desktop so we need to carefully take these parts crop Yep. Yeah. 
Now we need to use a pencil eraser size 1. And carefully remove the corners. And I just screwed up because this layer is locked. My bad, I just unlocked the layer. And I'm gonna try erasing these parts again. Now we've got all our error messages and screenshots done and we need to optimize some of them. This step is optional but recommended for cons for consistency. So you know like all your error messages are the same size. It's not like there's going to be a bigger one or a smaller one at random or something. I've did that in the past and kind of looks weird so you better not skip this step so you take each of your messages and or whatever we actually make a backup and adjust the canvas size control alt c to the resolution of your screenshot and it's 1280 by 720 and just have to do this with every single one of them I'm almost there, all I got is these old windows errors. Alright, so we've got almost every resource needed in here. I'm also going to add a video part right where the, where the pop-up blocked or information bar, whatever thing appears. That's when I'm going to add the video, but I'm going to record it afterwards. Uh, now, now all we have to do is open up our Vegas Pro, load up the two versions of the song, the one with errors and the one without errors. We can use this one to basically know where to put errors. Now just need to insert the video tracks. Now an interesting way to make this kind of video is by using nested projects. So I'm just going to call this final because this is going to be the final render and now we're going to make another project and here is where we are going to add errors I'm also going to add my desktop background again for reference and now we need to start placing errors if you've optimized your I guess size I like error sizes when you try to shift move, it's going a big distance. So what you have to do is do it manually. So to move the next one, you need to use the arrow keys. You just have to press up and left six times each. But depending on the operating system, it might be different. For example, when I worked on Crazy Macker 4, I had to do this 8 times for each key. As you can see, this process is much slower and much more tedious than, um, than using PowerPoint, but the final result can be great if you use Vegas. Okay, well, I kind of did a mistake here and should have extended these tracks, so I have to do it now. There you go, the last four errors of the intro. There you go, the intro is done. Now this is the first time I use this um, nested project technique. So now what you have to do is get rid of the background, get rid of the audio. So you only have errors. Save it. And now I'm gonna pull this intro. And now here's the cool part. I'm going to open my final project and now I'm going to add errors. This one. I'm going to drag and drop it and well, Sony Vegas sometimes a bit broken when I 
use the um, desktop shortcut. And there we go. We've got the errors on our final video. So now we just have to keep doing this thing until you've covered the whole video. So just keep adding errors, move them and all of that stuff. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Get the browser scene. So that's about it for the recording the screen part. Now I just need to get the video in Sony Vegas and just continue editing. All right, I've just finished editing the sequences or parts of the crazier. It's time to turn them into a video. So we have our background. And now we need to load every part, add every sequence and make finishing touches. So let's do that. Wait, I need the um, login part. So we need to quickly get that. Right control and E should do it. Hit virtual box. Perfect. And of course, what's a crazier without an ending? Alright, definitely took a bit of time, but I found a proper blue screen of death, thanks to Wikipedia. Now just time to tweak some stuff, maybe we can make it look better or something. Okay, we're almost there. One last touch. Perfect. Okay, now we're almost there. I have to do two renders. So let me just add a black background behind everything. I'm going to add this to a new, I guess, project. Because for some reason, Sony Vegas kind of makes my colors, the colors too dark and too bright, like too saturated. So I just go add a Sony Levels plugin, set it to Computer to Studio RGB, and the render is going to look amazing. I mean, it's going to look much better. Now, all we have to do is render him. Yeah, this is a new computer, so I'm kind of messing around. Uh, and see when this thing is done. All right, so I've just finished rendering the video. I had to render it again because I found a glitch right in the intro part about here. So I had to render it again and fix it, you know, fix it, render it again and whatnot. But there you guys go. Here's my, here's the Windows Crazier I just made. Wait, you're supposed to watch this on YouTube. That was pretty much it for today's video. See you guys next time. Peace.